Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Lotus. Um, picking back up with the Leo season messages and we're moving on to Gemini. So I think in order to really get started, um, it's really important to give credit to where Gemini finds itself right now because honestly through a lot of the cancer season and just these shifts through the Venus transitions there's been a lot of like forced emotional like trials that like Gemini has been forced to deal with and I always like to say that like they kind of operate above emotions with them being that air sign that mutable air just always kind of flowing sometimes just doing without necessarily even having an attachment to things it can seem like a time um but that's just because the mind is that that mercury nature just allows them to move with the facts move with what the data that's presented to them so a lot of things that kind of the universe has been positioning gemini with over these like really like recent events and i want to say being revisited during this time, like I want to say almost like a year or maybe even two years ago, you're being revisited with an opportunity where recently you're seeing it from a position from an advantage and you got to kind of gain the wisdom from that situation or just kind of like revisit it with this kind of like deja vu, like upgraded perspective, almost like prestige perspective about the situation. And you're kind of taking this in and I feel this activation within the root chakra because there's a lot of trying to stabilize as well as get grounded because now you're kind of looking at the actions and moves that you're making and actually giving conscious consideration as well as a lot of throat chakra vibration going on with Gemini during this time so there's a lot of throat vibration and not so much in voice and expression but with the movement and thoughts and how you want to actually process things during this time because you want to do something different so this Leo season is really feeling like the time for you to shine the time for you to make big moves and a lot of times when Gemini energy um when Gemini energy really enters into uh the Leo season we get really like the hot air balloons like the whole the heating situation so um you can really take grandiose ideas and really just get to places that you didn't even realize that were even possible, even for your own means. Um, there may have been a lot of what got you into situations that you were in before, but this time with uh, what you've learned with the go-arounds, uh, I feel like some of the karmic wisdoms has created grace for your situation. So um, I really feel good things in store. I feel your heart is opening up more because of this, because as you're trusting your own um, this activeness I feel in my throat chakra, it doesn't feel like hyperness or like oversaturation. It actually feels like just the hyperactiveness or like an activation is kind of taking place. And because this activation is taking place, you're feeling in your, this is translating or manifesting in your reality um, as feeling like you can actually accomplish the things that you set your mind to. You're noticing that a lot of the, um, a lot of the intentions that you and plans that you go to execute are landing closer to the mark so you're feeling a lot more confident about what it is that you're capable of doing and you you've noticed some different things about yourself and as far as how you move with your processes you feel like you have a better plan um as far as i, I well a better plan with your mental but that's because you also feel more stable emotionally um, you're feeling more secure as you feel more secure with the things that you're doing you also feel like you can trust in your ability to allow your emotions in more so there's in a sense like a softening taking place and um dare i say um it feels like you're allowing some of the the feminine traits to to take part um or influence at least um, be a side seat driver to some degree um within your metaphysical and awareness so we want to pull wisdom for the Gemini season. We're getting some grounding going. I know I said I felt some root energy. I definitely felt some movement. So if there is movement that's going on, it's to create stability, it's to create comfort, uh, things that you can trust, a sense of stability, because that Mercury energy at some point is going to want some type of grounding, uh, some type of anchor. So you're looking for... Uh, this, these spaces where you don't like I feel this anniversary energy because for Gemini um I want to say like a year ago like a year ago uh, like kind of close to the pandemic um and that like 2021 like time period because some of these these energies were like aftermath events as well so I feel like some of the decisions and energy and choices that were made during that time um, you're being like revisited with, okay, there's this karmic turnover of energy where you're being presented with the opportunity to, to like 
decide do how do you want to go about this do you want to face this situation the same way again so there's a lot of there's a lot going on you feel a warmth a lot of you may be feeling this warmth activation is taking place or in a sense there you may be having dreams or even searching for places where people provide comfort or seeking warmth um so if you're if you're not finding that you're feeling this lack especially during the season um during the summer um when you're trying to fill that void you may be uh, kind of erratic but that may be some type of sense where you're trying to reestablish um where your sense of belonging is I think that uh, honestly with all of the strides like for Gemini like when I think about um, what are we in uh, Venus and um, Venus and cancer yeah so like when Venus was in Gemini like there was this polarity range that was like brought out between things that we had forgotten about or um, there was too much in the collective that had led overall not even just Gemini people to believe that there was no space for the things that were in your head or just so many things have been suppressed with a lot of fear projections and in the, in the media and all of the things that were going on and um, that it just created this gap where okay well this isn't priority this isn't priority this isn't priority let me put this down so over time we didn't even consider those things so now it's like this opportunity to actually get back to that so this Gemini and Venus uh, Venus and Gemini period it was a uh, it just transitioned over recently um there was a lot of exploration a lot of mental exploration a lot of conscious and ego exploration so that spilled over into finding us in new territories which led into the venus and cancer so now there's a lot of emotional exploration and sentimentality um going on and for you gemini that's actually a really good thing for you because um sometimes when there is a need in your space um you may not be directly addressing it in its fullness you yeah, and you may only touch on the situation so you may only throw yourself back into the work that's been taking place in your life or just kind of doing things and if those events didn't actually work out you just work with those events rather than actually course correcting the bigger picture so now there's kind of been this uh this this lens macro focusing that's kind of brought that into awareness but not in a way that's been bad for you you've actually uh been bad for you um, you've actually been able to be very productive with it and just really get real about your where you find yourself. Um, it's, it's actually allowed you to empower yourself. I'm feeling like if I had to give it like uh, energy, it, it feels like these seven of wands type vibes where it's like this, this ability to show that you can produce and this rising esteem, this rising confidence, the sense that you can do more than where you currently are. Trust in the magic. Yeah, like, like I was saying, like that seven of wands energy, because like it's seven of wands to me, it's like this when you you have to show like based on what you're currently doing, you're making this like promise that you can do more. It, it kind of reminds me like that, like the guy, uh, Marty and Ozark, where it's like, well, you know, I got you at gunpoint and it's like, well, you you're telling me that you can flip this eight mil in three months. And it's like, okay, well, that everything sound good at gunpoint. So what what's what's promising what is it about your energy right now that's giving the okay that like okay you're good for this like if you could do this now then you can calculate this out three months down the road eight mil all right five years 500 mil fuck it that that that's that seven of wands energy because but this is like based on like what like what was marty showing in that moment that like okay well if you're this smart then it's like okay then maybe you can do this shit like it, maybe it do match up you know uh, maybe you are maybe you are that thing and it's like this construction of of this like pyramid you know what i'm saying so it's that energy and it, but the only way you can do that is if you stand on the ability of what it is you're currently capable of to stand on the energy of i can produce these mapped out steps and produce these rewards so there's a confidence there's a projection that's taking place so you have to trust in the magic you have to trust in yourself so are you trusting in what's being built because you you need to trust in it because it's actually for you it's, it's stabilizing your home it's stabilizing your root so if you're starting to feel erratic or shaky if the actions the people or the things that you are putting your energy into and moving towards or talking about are are making you feel erratic or making your energetic feel feel like you need to do something like you need to like you haven't had coffee then there's an evaluation check that actually needs to take place so have you been feeling that or have you been feeling have you been feeling that person that makes you feel 
like that in like in that half sack those meals those those thoughts those um lifestyle patterns that make you feel like you're at home with yourself what have you been getting back to that's been making you feel like you're at home with yourself and feeling that sense of security it's time to do a evaluation check because if you've been putting in energy it should be going into stabilizing more of what creates your home for you I hope this message is resonating within your spirit because this Leo season is actually for you, Gemini, going to show you that you can have what you want. Uh, for a while, you've been going through a lot of hardships and then been faced with a lot of hard truths, emotional truths that you don't necessarily always want to face, um, only to kind of feel like, damn, just more on the, the, there we go, the situations that you're already, you know, kind of dealing with, just kind of shitting more on the situation. So... This is kind of like that win that you've been looking for, that confirmation, that omen of the good news and the positive things that you have been waiting out for. And it's not to say that you know you always have to be rewarded be for being a good person, but your time has actually come and that energy is actually showing now so you can actually illuminate in that light and rejoice in your home, getting that, that vibrancy that you've always wanted and letting your heart space receive the energetic um, upgrade <laughs> that is overdue. Um, so yes, um, I'm really rooting for you. Uh, definitely keep moving through this Leo season and enjoying the things that give you that home solidarity and that home peace. Much love, many blessings, and I say.